What's up everybody, this is H back with another 12 Hub TV video. Today we're going to take a look at what I consider to be the best hiking shoe available in the marketplace today. Now, when the category of hiking shoes is kind of broad. A lot of people just take old, like, basketball, tennis shoes, whatever they have, and rough them up and go out. And then there's a whole category of specific hiking shoes that brands like, you know, Columbia makes and, and other outdoor brands. You go out to REI or any of those, those outdoor stores and you can find those products. Uh, and then there's, you know, the more name brand like Adidas and Nike that come out with hiking boots that are more stylish and also utilitarian. And I put this particular shoe in that category just because it is semi-stylish <laughs> and very utilitarian at the same time. And we're going to look at it right now. It's the ISPA 270 shoe. ISPA has been around since I believe early 2019. It stands for Improvise, Scavenge, Protect, Adapt. It's a line of shoes that they created for city dwellers who are into, you know, um, sports and outer activity and what have you. This box is kind of effed up. <laughs> But as you can see from here, I already I'm 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 reviewing them dirty because I wanted to show you the ruggedness and everything. So as you can see right here, we got all of this. This is the side is a 270 air unit. The plastic. And then the soles. The soles are typical ISPA soles. You'll find these on the 720, which we already reviewed, and you could look at that video up here. Um, but these are crazy and they really work when you're out there in the trenches and doing your thing. So now looking at the shoe more directly, um, the whole shoe just looks crazy. You, you wouldn't think this was a hiking shoe particularly because of the massive air bubble back here, but there is a lot of support right here. Um, I want to say this is react, but I don't think it is. It's probably their typical foam that they would throw on any shoe outside of, you know, um, anything special like a running shoe or what have you, or basketball shoe for that matter. This whole upper here under is, is made out of just this very flexible rubber, right? And there's two cords here. There is a regular shoestring, round shoestring cord, like you could find on your typical hiking boot, or and also um, a like a uh, like a sh like a threading, a very thick threading, like bungee cord, like not bungee cord, but more of a uh, a um, what do they call it. Just a thick lined cord here. There's a very thick lined cord here that we that, that, that you could use to tighten up the shoe, okay, even more. And back here on the heel, there's an extra extra cord here that you could pull that that attaches all the way up through here. That gives you more support in the back of the heel. So um, even though this is very flexible and pliable here, you have a lot of support, and you also have. Um, this right here to lock you in so all of this locks you in and gives you the added support when you're when you're uh, out there doing your thing in the field now what I like about the shoe and why I say it's the best hiking shoe <laughs> that I've ever used is the fact that when I slipped my foot in and did everything it wasn't too difficult to get on I was comfortable right and when I went out into the field it Literally, you know, we, we, we were doing our regular, we, we, we hiked in Virginia, Billy Go Trails and I'll... I mean, I mean, yeah, a lot of money goes, goes, yeah, I mean, it's so good. Um, I, I regret so much. That particular trail is one of the tougher ones around here in uh, the DMV area. And it really, really was crazy how I was able to go up hills, like, because the, the spikes right here, what do you call them? Spikes? These nubs. These nubs were crazy in going up muddy hills. We just, we went out right after it rained, and it was muddy. And um, my friend slipped, 
slipped off the side and almost broke his neck almost caught on tape because i was filming at the time and uh that this i just walked up the hill no problem uh all in the mud and everything just plump 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 all the way up i go on this thing <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fall. Yeah, I already know well, I'm gonna fall. I can feel you. I can take it though. <laughs> That'll be a YouTube moment. Yeah, like you touch these things and you start doing Also, back here. Tons of support here. Hard plastic here, counter. And the air bubbles on these things, they take up to. I would almost say 350, 400 pounds easily. I'm a big dude, you know guess my weight whatever but i had no problems with these i didn't feel anything crazy and the best thing about these like look on the front this whole part expands so wide foot people no problem for you um as i stepped and this is why it was so calm the first time i ever wore them was this weekend hiking and i had no foot issues nothing no no pain no no you know that break in period where the shoe is kind of tight and you're like ah struggling with it a little bit none of that we're just talking about how wide foot friendly the shoe is like when you have the support let's zoom in on that like when i step down it expands with my wide feet since it's all mesh right here this meshing here just expands and it keeps my foot comfortable in the 270 air keeps me Feeling like I'm walking on a cloud. No pain at all. And also an added bonus, this whole upper is waterproof. So you tighten these up enough, you can go hiking in the trails, muddy, whatever. Uh, rain coming down, snow coming down, whatever. And these will protect you. Um, great experience with these. And, you know, just a real good shoe for overall use out in the field comparing it to other hiking shoes i had a pair of columbia's and like i said i've used tennis shoes i've used bas old basketball shoes things like that nothing's given me the support and comfort that these have moving up and down those trails uh the biggest thing that i would say that really sold me on these is the styling you know i like different stuff i like things that look crazy and this one right here is probably the craziest looking hiking or regular shoe i've ever owned outside of the 720 ispas but you know those are low top you can style them a little differently and you know it's uh that's more of a an outlier i guess but these over here man when you when you take these out you're definitely going to be noticed but they came out early 2019 they're not available anymore uh not to say there was a limited run or anything it's just that you know not many stores carried them um and nike pretty much sold out like any of these they, they, i would consider there was a little bit of a hype behind them for a little bit because ispa a lot of uh, the nba players are wearing the first run of the ispa uh shoes and and then you had you know just a lot of people just gravitating towards them and they are a cool silhouette i love the way they do things design wise over there uh that make this more utilitarian slash rugged look uh to uh to these to these different you know nike nike um silhouettes like the 270 which really you know this was really popular in 2018 the 270 air bubble and you know it in 2018 it took off and 2019 kind of you know went away and now we have you know they did some hybrids you know like the uh, react 270 the ispa 270 earlier uh that year uh, and i got these really late you know i wasn't i wasn't really thinking they weren't on my radar as a shoot i wanted to get for any particular reason and when i saw um actually jock slade talk about them being like a hiking boot for this model in particular it has a very sort of like hiking boot sort of aesthetic even though it does still have like that sneaker style to it oh okay i dig it i've been looking for a new hiking shoe because the columbia hiking shoes i had i almost i rolled my ankle almost broke my ankle in them and funny story my friend gave me those shoes and he actually broke his ankle in those same shoes because they were too loose and you know he even had his own insoles all that type of stuff going on i did the same thing and i almost hurt myself there with legit hiking boots but again these are low i mean high tops or mid, i would say mids I don't know, high. That's a high. I don't know. You tell me in the comments. I don't know. But, it, you know, the, the, way more support here. 
on, on the on the back heel and again these these nubs right here make all the freaking difference in the world i cannot stress that enough when you put these on and you're able to climb through that dirt climb up a rock i, I climbed up a rock i climbed onto a tree stump and Use jumped down hair. off of it and the impact wasn't bad there's a lot of things that this shoe has to offer as far as a hiking type of shoe and mind you i'm a casual hiker i'm not yeah, a pro at this i don't go traveling across the world i go to local hiking trails out here in dc and virginia and maryland and you know i get my uh, my my fix that way but with these i might you know i might have to head over to another state you know any suggestions leave them in the comment below and and let us know any of you real hikers out there but um and then give me your experiences too i want to understand like what you know you guys and girls think of when you uh, get hiking shoes what is your favorite type uh, lows highs uh, tons of support spikes no spikes whatever D depending on the conditions like what are you looking for in a hiking shoe that makes sense to you uh, to get you through you know <laughs> the you know 5 to 20 mile hike that you're trying to go on all right but that's about it. I just want to throw this one out there because this one to me is arguably the best hiking shoe I've ever had. And I've only gone out once and I am going out more because of this bad boy. All right. Like, comment, subscribe and tell us what you think we should be doing next. 12 Hub out.